field division has two kinds that is the first one is called as mitosis and the second one is called as meiosis so mitosis is the uh, duplication reduction uh, duplication process while meiosis is a reduction process this is the mitosis is the first step of the cell division in which the chromosome number are duplicated and distributed equally to the daughter cell while meiosis is a particular type of cell division in which the chromosome number is reducted it is reducted and distributed equally to the daughter cell isn't it so if we see the structure of the mammalian cell cycle so mammalian cell cycle having the uh, such a phases the first one is the g0 phase that is the then second phase is called as the this is the interphasic moment and here there is the m phase then second another phase is called as the g1 phase and this is the very big phase that is known as synthesis phase s phase and uh, another phase that is called g2 phase so this is the post mitotic post mitotic gap phase and this is the where synthesis of dna can be takes place that is dna synthesis phase that is called s phase this one is called as the s phase and here this is the pre mitotic pre mitotic gap phase this pre mitotic gap phase so this is the complete cell cycle so it requires 16 hours the 16 hours uh, 16 hours required for the one complete cell cycle so here this is the interphase where the chromosome number is in a resting stage If this is the m phase it requires 1 hours duration to complete it then g1 phase that is a post mitotic gap phase it requires to complete in the 5 hours duration this is the s phase synthesis where the dna synthesis can be takes place it requires 7 hours duration to complete it and this g2 phase having the 3 hours duration to require to complete it so this is whole 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 that is the 16 hours uh, required to complete one cell cycle and this is the m phase where that mitosis is completes under the five phases there are the five phases of mitosis the first one is the interphase interphase second one is the second one is called as the prophase third one is called as the metaphase fourth one is the telof uh, anaphase sorry anaphase and the fifth one is the telophase telophase so here in the interphase where the chromosome number a chromosome is a constant but uh, it is in a resting condition here in the prophase the chromosomes are the thread like structure it appear just like a thread if you see the structure or in the cell it look like the such as thread like structures very thin fibrous structure in case of the uh, prophase in metaphasic movement the chromosome appear just like the uh, rod shaped structure it is a rod shaped thick chromosomes are thick and it will be look like this in the cell if we see the structure of the metaphasic movement where the chromosomes are appears as a having the bivalent structure a centromere and they appear just like a rod shaped structure here the spindle apparatus that is centriole centro in the spindle fibers astral rays are developed in the anaphasic movement here this is sorry in the metaphase where three types of the spindle fibers are developed uh, the first one is the chromosomal spindle fiber interchromosomal spindle fiber 
and continuous spindle fiber there are three spindle fibers spindle fibers are developed in the uh, metaphysic moment and the chromosomes are appear at the center of the uh, equator so that is called as the uh, uh, metaphysic moment where the chromosomes are arrested at the central uh, equator of the uh, cell so that is a uh, identification mark of the metaphysic moment in case of anaphase the chromosomes are <coughs> where the centromere is uh, duplicated uh, sorry uh, centromere is uh, divided and they get uh, attracted towards the two different poles in case of the anaphase where the chromosomes are towards the attracted towards the poles and the chromosomes are div divides and uh, attracted towards the poles they are from one pole to the another pole they are attracted this is called anaphasic moment and in case of the uh, telophasic moment here the karyokinesis actual karyokinesis will be takes place there are two kinds of the processes that one is called as the cytokinesis cytokinesis and the second one is called as the karyokinesis karyokinesis so here cytokinesis is the division of cell and the karyokinesis is the division of the nucleus here actual division can be takes place in the anaphasic moment then in case of telophasic moment the cell furrow will be starts to uh, appear just like a dumbbell shaped structure of the cell and here the one chromosome and this is another so here there is appearance of the dumbbell shaped structure and the cell furrow will be go deeper and deeper meet at the center and developing into the two daughter nuclei these are the two daughter nuclei it just appears like the first cell that is just like a uh, prophase so this is about the duplication of the these are the daughter cells daughter cells so this is a complete process of the mitosis that we they are gone through the four five phases interphase prophase metaphase anaphase and the telophase then let us focus on the meiosis where the meiotic meiosis is the another type of the cell division in which the chromosome number is reducted that is called as it is also called as the reduction division chromosome number is uh, reducted and distributed to the daughter cells there are two kinds of the meiosis reduc re reduction division the first one is meiosis first and the meiosis second so in case of meiosis first again there are the different phases that is interphase then prophase first then metaphase first then anaphase first and telophase first so in case of the prophase first there are the six sub stages that is pro leptotin leptotin zygotin pacitin diplotin diakinesis these are the six sub stages of the prophase first metaphase first having early and late metaphase first the anaphase having again two anaphase early anaphase late anaphase telophase having again two uh, early uh, uh, telophase and the uh, late telophase meiotic second also having the prophase pro phase second metaphase second then anaphase second and the third one is the telophase second so this is these are the again four phases so in all here the chromosome number in case of meiosis there they are reduced equal and equally distributed to the half of the daughter cells so this is about the uh, cell division so this is a complete process known as the cell division thank you